Keeping Up with James. It was winter holiday season on the island of Sodor. Everywhere was covered in a beautiful blanket of soft snow. Sir Topham Hatt was at the fitter's yard. The engines were having their snow plows fitted. We must get the island moving again, he boomed. And when the lines are clear, I will need an engine to take the presence train to the holiday party at Knapford. All the engines wanted to take the presence train. It was the jolliest train of the year. James, you must work with Edward, he said. Remember, the tracks are icy and you must all work together and take care. But James wanted to finish first and take the presence train. An old blue slow coach like you is sure to slow me down, he huffed. James and Edward's first job was to clear the lines to Napford. Edward worked as fast as he could, but it wasn't fast enough for James. Hurry up, he snorted. Henry was clearing the line when James steamed quickly past. Slow down, cried Henry, and take care. But James wasn't listening. He was dreaming about the presence train. He didn't notice that the tracks were icy. James' wheels began to slip and slide. Whoa, he cried. He was going faster and faster. Yippee, called James. He was starting to enjoy himself. He was sliding so fast that he slid all the way into Maithwaite Station. Later, James and Edward had to take some coal cars to the coaling plant. James waited for Edward. He listened to the choir and watched all the colorful decorations being put up. James wanted to take the presence train more than ever. Finally, Edward puffed in. Trust a blue engine to be late, called James. I'm sorry, gasped Edward. I had to go slowly and take care. Slow engines like you don't get to pull a presence train, snorted James. And they pulled away. James raced to the coaling plant as fast as he could. Must be first, must be first, he puffed. James reached the top of Gordon's Hill. The tracks were icy and James started to speed up. Edward wasn't happy. James's wheels started to slip and slide. Whee! cried James. This is the way to get the job done fast. James thought it was the best slide ever. At the coaling plant, James and Edward's train had been filled with coal. Edward called to James. You must slow down and take care. I am taking care, replied James. Taking care to finish first, I'm going to pull the presence train. And James pulled out. headed for Brendam Docks. Finish first, finish first, James puffed happily. He started to go faster, and faster, and faster. But he didn't know how very icy the tracks were. His wheels started to slip and slide. Oh my, cried James, and he applied his brakes as hard as he could. Whoa! Edward tried to break his well, but it was too late. Bust my buffers, cried James. Oh dear, wished Edward. Sir Topham had arrived on Sol. He was very cross. James and Edward, he boomed. The tracks were icy and you were not taking care. You have caused confusion and delay. James felt bad. 
Edward wanted to slow down, but I wanted to go fast so that I could pull the presence train. You won't be doing that now, James, said Sir Topham Hatt. Edward, you are a reliable engine. You can pull the presence train, but you can't pull it alone. It's a very long train. Sir, called James, if I promise to go slowly and take care, can I be Edward's back engine? Sir Topham Hatt wasn't sure. Only if you can puff slowly and carefully, he said. James felt pleased. Edward, he puffed, I will learn to take care just like you. And so Edward pulled James back onto the tracks. Later, at Brendam Docks, the two engines collected the presence train and set off carefully for Napthi. Whenever they came to some icy track, Edward called out, Slow down! And now James slowed down. And when they went down Gordon's Hill, Edward called out, Apply your brakes, James! And James applied his brakes. So slowly and safely, the two friends puffed into Knapford Station. When the children saw the presents, they cheered and cheered. Thank you, James! called Edward. Thank you, Edward, said James. You are a really useful blue engine. <laughs>